damaged thousands of dollars. Some of them were just attempts where uh, the fire was extinguished. The crime wave is confined to this neighborhood near Silver Sand State Park in Milford. I'm just shocked because this is a quiet neighborhood and things like this usually doesn't happen, you know, around this area. She did not have a break-in, but police have notified her and her neighbors to remove any valuables in their vehicles from plain view. Leave their vehicles locked, secure your cars, anything you think's of value, someone's going to look through your window and they're going to look at that as an opportunity. So if, if you remove that opportunity, um, people aren't going to break into your vehicles. Officer Nielsen says police will be back out here this evening hoping someone heard or saw something suspicious before sunrise this morning. Live in Milford, I'm Doug Green, NBC Connecticut News. Jeff and Shirley? Thank you, Doug. Cheshire police are still investigating the deaths of a woman after the first floor of her home collapsed. Police say 66-year-old Beverly Mitchell had so much clutter inside her Winslow Road home that the floor gave way. Cheshire police had to use an excavator to get to Mitchell's body in the basement. Police say she had refused help to curb her hoarding, but doctors say there are treatments out there. Some people are studying whether certain medications can help, and they might. The best evidence right now is for a kind of counseling called cognitive behavior therapy, where we teach people how to make more effective and efficient decisions, how to let go of things. Police say Mitchell's home will have to be torn down. This UConn professor is under arrest again. Gabriel Fentany is charged with drunk driving after he was pulled over in Vernon on Saturday. He's also charged with assault on an officer after police say he kicked and spit on a cop last month. Fentany is already on probation for vandalizing cars in Greenwich last October. UConn says he's on leave and barred from campus while the school investigates. Aaron Hernandez is back in court today. This time, he asked a judge to throw out one of the murder charges against him. The former New England Patriot was also arraigned on charges connected to an alleged jailhouse attack. Brian Barnett has the new developments. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Defense attorneys for former New England Patriots tight end and accused murderer Aaron Hernandez say they want to subpoena the Patriots to get Hernandez's medical and psychiatric records. Certainly they've been put on notice of the process that would unfold if they do not respond to our release that we delivered in July of 2013, our follow-up phone calls and correspondence in the fall of 2013, to which we have received you know, no response. Judge Susan Gar said she may send this matter to another judge because court officials say she is personal friends with one of the Patriots' attorneys. Defense attorneys say they don't know how the Patriots stand on this matter. There's silence. Uh, we've been ignored. Hernandez, charged with killing his friend Odin Lloyd one year ago, entered and left the court mouthing the words, I love you, to his mother. She returned the gesture, but said nothing to reporters as she left the courthouse. Odin Lloyd's mother was also in court and said nothing as well. The defense argued extensively the murder charge against Hernandez should be dropped for lack of probable cause. But the prosecution says Hernandez, who's also accused in a 2012 double murder in Boston, had